Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve and uh, we're going to talk about system restore files today. Now we talked about these in another video at one point as far as how to set them and how to make them, but sometimes you can get a little too many of them and they start taking up uh, extra space. Right. You know, if you ever see that your hard drive is completely filling up and you don't know where it's going, sometimes it's through system restore files. So what we're going to show you today is how to do a disk cleanup, and it's a special kind of disk cleanup, which is going to allow you to remove old restore files and just leave the most recent one so you still have a chance to go back if you need it, but also just clean up some disk space and give yourself some extra room. Right. Now, before you do this, just make sure that your computer is exactly the way you like it right now, that you're not going to say, oh, gee, I wish I wouldn't have done that so I can go to a system restore point that I made, you know, two weeks ago. Because once you do this, all those other ones, except for your most recent one, are going to be gone. Right. So with that in mind, take a look at the computer. Okay, um, in order to delete the system restore files from the computer, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to start and then click on computer. It's going to bring up a list of the drives and uh, in our case the only drive we have is the C drive here. If you have other drives you can do this for each individual drive, but for us it's just the C drive. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to choose properties. Uh, the first thing that opens up is the properties for the drive. Under general we're going to click on disk cleanup and uh, just as an aside here the disk cleanup is a great feature and we'll probably do another tip on it in the future here to explain all the different things that you can do with disk cleanup. But today we're going to focus just on the uh, just on the restore files. So the first thing to do is to click here where it says clean up system files. Um, if you are already the administrator on your computer you may not have to click this um, but for us we're not so we're going to click on that and it's going to go through another quick setup here and then uh, once it's finished with this then it'll open up the same window but this time you have the tab that says more options. So we'll click on more options and as you can see right here it has the system restore and shadow copies. We're going to go ahead and hit clean up on that and it say are you sure you want to delete all but the most recent restore point. It's just going to warn you that just because you don't want to delete something you don't want or you, that you want to keep. Um, in this case we're going to go ahead and hit delete and it's going to go ahead and run through the deletion. Uh, the rest of it will go on its own and, um, and that's all you have to do. There you have it. That is how to delete excess system restore files. Now, if you want to refer back, we're going to put the tip right back here. We have another tip with a video all about system restore files, and in that we actually show you how to specify how much hard drive space these system restore files are going to take up. So that way, you know, if you, this doesn't happen to you again. Right. So that way, if you're looking at all this stuff and you're saying, hey, I have all these system restore files, if you don't ever want your computer to store that many files, this tip that we have right here is going to show you exactly how to do that. So make sure you head to the site, head to that address, and uh, reference that tip today. Right. And if you're, uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, we uh, encourage you to stop by our website and uh, just check out our homepage at www.worldstart.com. And if you have any questions for us, stop by worldstart.com slash ask and uh, ask your question and we'll be happy to answer it for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.